Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, 1778. Smallpox has laid low the Continental Army. Washington knows his troops don't stand a chance against the British if the epidemic continues. He orders the only defense he has, variolation. Soldiers are purposefully inoculated with pus from a mild case of the disease. It's not perfect. 2% of those inoculated still die, but it's far fewer than the 30% dying from natural infection. Variolation saves thousands, and with them, our budding democracy. In England, 20 years later, Edward Jenner proves that inoculation with cowpox, a mild cousin to smallpox, confers immunity to the dread disease. Fast forward nearly 100 years to Marietta, Pennsylvania. An enterprising country doctor named H.M. Alexander harvests Jenner's vaccine from local cows and sells it far and wide. The vaccine farm, as it is known, will become part of Wyeth Laboratories. But even with a vaccine, smallpox still kills 300 million people throughout the 20th century. In the early 1960s, a Wyeth researcher in Radnor, PA, named Benjamin Rubin invents the bifurcated needle. This simple and cost-effective way to administer the smallpox vaccine plays a pivotal role in eradicating smallpox from the face of the earth by 1980. Vaccine development spreads across Pennsylvania. In Pittsburgh, like everywhere in the 1950s, polio is paralyzing and killing children routinely. But at the University of Pittsburgh in 1955, Dr. Jonas Salk and his team develop a killed virus vaccine that allows us to imagine eradicating polio as well. Across the state in 1957, Merck and company recruit young Maurice Hilleman to head their new virus and cell biology labs. Hilleman begins ticking off the childhood diseases he'll defeat with vaccines. Measles, mumps, and rubella are killing children and causing lifelong birth defects. Check. Meningococcus and Haemophilus influenza type B are causing blindness, deafness, mental disabilities, even death. Check. With Dr. Phil Provost, Hilleman develops a vaccine against the foodborne virus, Hepatitis A. Check. But one disease on Hilleman's list appears elusive. Hepatitis B causes liver cancer and chronic liver disease in nearly 300 million people around the globe. When the hepatitis B surface protein is discovered by Baruch Blumberg in Philadelphia in the 1960s, Hilleman sees an opening. He harvests the protein from the blood of infected people and turns it into a vaccine by 1980. But with the emergence of AIDS in 1981, fear of bloodborne contaminants calls Hilleman's vaccine into question. So he and Merck president of research, Dr. Roy Vagelos, turned to recombinant DNA technology. The goal is simple. Eliminate the risk of dangerous human viruses in the vaccine by getting yeast cells to manufacture the hepatitis B surface protein. The strategy works and the first ever vaccine to prevent human cancer also becomes the first ever vaccine made with recombinant DNA technology, marking another disease for possible eradication. In the gold mines of South Africa, Dr. Robert Austrian finds a population suffering with bacterial pneumonia caused by pneumococcus. Despite the advent of antibiotics, pneumococcus continues to kill hundreds of thousands every year around the globe. Back in his lab at the University of Pennsylvania, Austrian teams up with Hilleman to develop a multivalent vaccine against pneumococcus ultimately combating 23 strains of the bacterium. From before the time of Louis Pasteur, rabies infection has meant an almost certain and terrifying death. At the Wistar Institute in Philadelphia in 1968, doctors Hilary Kaprowski, Tad Victor, Mario Fernandez, and Stanley Plotkin 
develop a next-generation rabies vaccine using human cells. The new vaccine is nearly 100% effective against a virus that's nearly 100% fatal. In his lab down the hall, Plotkin also develops his groundbreaking rubella vaccine using the same line of human cells. Though the disease is relatively mild in children, it's devastating in unborn babies, causing blindness, deafness, heart defects, developmental delays, and death. <coughs> Plotkin's new vaccine becomes the R in Hilleman's famous MMR vaccine, preventing thousands of infant deaths and tens of thousands of birth defects yearly. And Plotkin doesn't stop there. In 1980, at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, he joins forces with doctors Paul Offit and H. Fred Clark to battle rotavirus, an agent responsible for half a million deaths in young children every year. By 2006, their vaccine is saving young lives worldwide. Meanwhile, on the nearby University of Pennsylvania campus, doctors Catalin Carrico and Drew Weissman set the stage for the creation of novel vaccines that will eventually be the answer to the COVID-19 pandemic. Their Nobel-winning work with messenger RNA enables science to respond to a lethal pathogen in record time. From ancient plagues to emerging threats, Pennsylvania continues to play a critical role in the war against deadly, infectious diseases.